Michelle Obama slipped into a Beyoncé concert in Paris, France, wearing a see-through white blouse with matching white short shorts and 5-inch platform sandals. The former first lady looked like she raided one of her daughter's closets as she started to twerk with Beyoncé's mom. That's when Michelle got her a nasty surprise from her daughters. Don't miss this, Michelle Obama reminded us over the weekend why so many Americans prefer First Lady Melania Trump. Sure, Vogue refused to give Melania the cover, as they did Michelle over six times as Flotus, but when it comes to good taste and icon status as a fashionista, everyone knows Melania Trump wins hands down. Which brings us to this past weekend in Paris. France. While Barack Obama is vacationing in Kenya solo, Michelle, Malia, and Sasha headed to the City of Lights. The reason? Like an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, the former first lady and her daughters decided to jet over to Paris on a whim to catch Beyonce in Jay-Z's concert. TMZ reports, Michelle Obama didn't just crash Jay-Z and Beyonce's Sunday concert at Paris Stade de France, she cut a rug with Bay's mom. Tina Knowles, in the best seats in the house. The former first lady was there with both daughters, Sasha and Malia. No sign of Barack. Because he's in Kenya. So where are Malia and Sasha? The above Instagram video shows Michelle and Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, as they dance to a blaring rap song, but no Obama daughters are in sight. In fact, in every video available of the event on the internet, only one conclusion can be made. Malia and Sasha did not want to be anywhere near their 54-year-old mother while she attempted to twerk the night away. Of course, the leftist media were gushing over Michelle making a fool out of herself. Yet, so absent were the Obama girls from Michelle. Only TMZ, the celebrity site, spotted Malia and Sasha at the concert. Every other outlet reported Malia was not there, but she was. The former first daughter and eldest Obama girl, Malia shunned her mom completely. Here's how the leftist press reports on Michelle and her teenage look for the concert. USA Today titled their article, Michelle Obama Dances, Lives Her Best Life in Short Shorts at Beyoncé and Jay-Z Concert. USA Today goes on to report, Michelle Obama looked noticeably flawless while taking in Beyoncé and Jay-Z's show Sunday in Paris. The former first lady, who made efforts to end childhood obesity as a resident of the White House, showed off-toned legs in a pair of high-waisted shorts that came to her upper thigh. She finished her monochromatic look with an open, flowing jacket over a scoop neck top and platform, wedge sandals. However, they left out the part where her daughters ditched her all night. Sure, it's normal for kids to not want to hang out with their parents, but the Obama girls made a point to stay away from the former first lady so entirely, it really was a nasty surprise for Michelle. At one point during the concert, she looks around, and it sure seems like she is wondering why she is all alone. Many articles have been written about fashion designers refusing to dress Melania Trump. That wasn't the case for Michelle, who is the darling of the left and the Hollywood crowd. She had every major couture designer begging to dress her. So why does she look so terrible, especially when she is picking out casual clothes? Michelle Obama looks like she is going through a midlife crisis. Last summer she was caught wearing that white off-the-shoulder blouse which was falling off of her. Italians were livid when she attempted to wear that blouse into one of their major cathedrals. Then she sported that pink blouse and white jeans which also looked like something one of her daughters would wear. It is no wonder Barack goes to Kenya alone as Michelle acts like a groupie following Beyonce around the world. Her own daughters are embarrassed. And what made many people laugh was the reaction of Beyoncé's mom. As Michelle gets her groove onto a blaring rap song, Beyoncé's mom kind of dances. She's being courteous to Michelle. But finally, even Mrs. Knowles is tired of the horrible rap song, and she sits down. But not Michelle. She keeps trying to dance to a song most people wouldn't call real music. The whole thing was pathetic.